everyone, this is Nick Dearbertis teaching you financial modeling. Today, we're going to be introducing the fourth project in the course, the full discounted cash flow valuation of a stock. So this is uh, the main model that we've been working towards in the course that kind of puts together everything that we've learned. Um, so within this project, you're going to pick any publicly traded uh, company that you would like, and you're going to research that company, and you're going to create a full discounted cash flow valuation of that company's stock. And it's on you to go and find all of the data that you're going to use in your model. So basically, um, I'm not really giving you anything here other than guidelines on, on what needs to be in the project. And it's on you to go and find all the data, um, find the information about the company, um, et cetera. So um, this project um, is trying to transition you out of the structure of the course and into uh, modeling in the real world where you're not going to have the nice templates or answers provided um, when you're going and building models on the job uh, or for personal purposes. So um, this project is headed in that unstructured direction that you'll face uh, when doing modeling outside of the course. So um, within this model, you're going to have uh, basically, what was project three of estimating the WAC for the stock, weighted average cost of capital. And then we're adding on additionally the free cash flow estimation and forecasting part of the model. Um, and I've noted here that you have to forecast the financial statements, not just the, um, the free cash flows directly. Um, so you can forecast the free cash flows directly, but that should be as an extra check, not as the main result in your model. You do need to forecast at least the income statement and balance sheet items necessary to calculate free cash flows in the future. Um, and then beyond the base model, um, you need to have a few other um, components in here. So what's important in going throughout this valuation is that this is our first model, which has had a lot of um, different uh, information that you can incorporate about the company. And so it's a little bit subjective in how you uh, pick the assumptions for the model. And it uh, comes down to your opinion about the company and your research uh, on the company. So, um, even two people that uh, worked on the same company could have completely different answers here, and they both could be perfectly valid. It just comes down to your research and opinions about the company. And so in order to um, justify the assumptions that you're making, you're going to have to also give a written justification of the forecast assumptions. Um, so the best way to do this is just to have kind of a full write-up on the model, explaining, uh, just giving a background on the company and your findings from the research, uh, and going through um, bas the basic structure of the model, um, and talking through all the assumptions that you made and why, and what from your research and opinions did you draw on in order to... Uh, pick the assumptions for the forecast. So beyond the base model and that um, write-up of the model, then we also want to have um, the extensions um, to the model that we've seen throughout the course. Um, so scenario, sensitivity analysis, uh, Monte Carlo simulation, visualization, we want to see all of those things coming into the model. Um, so if you're missing any one of these, then that's going to be a hit to the grade. So make sure that you complete all of these components. Um, <clears throat> and as far as getting the stock price in the uh, model, you also want to use both the perpetuity growth and 
uh, exit multiple approaches and look at multiple different exit multiples for getting that price. So you'll really have uh, multiple different prices coming out of the model. And in order to get that to a single price, uh, for the purposes of these extensions, you can uh, either pick whichever one you think is more accurate and justify why you think it's more accurate, or you can take a weighted average of the other approaches and use that as your singular estimate of the stock price. Um, so those are the main things that are involved here. Um, and uh, for the scenario analysis, you're thinking about states of the economy for that. Um, sensitivity, you're going to want to pick whatever you think are the most impactful variables in your analysis. Um, and similarly for the Monte Carlo simulation, the more variables, the better, but uh, whatever the most impactful ones are should be in there. Uh, the grading is a little bit different for this project because there's no template and so there's no template portion of the grade and where that has that grade has shifted to is instead towards the readability so for the other projects the readability has been 20 percent here it's 30 percent and that shift is mainly because this is a larger and more complex model than we've built in the previous projects and the more uh the bigger the model is and the more complex it is the more important that readability is uh, for someone to understand and work with the model. So putting a greater emphasis on that here. Um, and there are no provided solutions because everyone's working on a different company. And also even people working on the same company can have different valid solutions. Um, and as far as the bonus in this project, um, so the bonus is also similarly less structured. So for the bonus, um, it's basically just if you do any parts of the model very well, you can earn a bonus for those parts of the model. So it could be the visualization, it could be uh, the write-up, it could be the structure of the model, how it's organized. Um, it could be a, a particularly thorough um, analysis of any part of the model. Um, so anything that basically impresses me that you've done in the model is going to be eligible to earn a bonus and, um, the bonus could go up to 5% of the grade. So that's an overview of this project. Um, so I hope that this is enjoyable for everybody since you get to, uh, choose a company, which you are interested in, in learning about and analyzing and go through this whole process. Um, and this is a really nice full built out model to have as you go into uh, job interviews. You can show off this model and all the fancy stuff that you've done in it, all your thoughtful analysis into it. And that's something that could be impressive in an interview setting. Um, so that's the overview of this project. So uh, feel free to reach out with any questions about it. And thanks for listening. See you next time.